the Health Watch this evening, a growing number of young children are having trouble seeing. A recent study finds more than 174,000 preschoolers have vision problems that may go unnoticed, like blurry vision, lazy eye, and more. So eye specialists say kids need to be screened early and often to avoid problems down the road. Our Dr. Malika Marshall is here with some advice for parents on this one. That's right. Well, kids' vision continues to develop during childhood and so the brain needs to get signals from both eyes with clear vision in order to develop normally and so if there is a problem in one eye the vision may not develop normally and may not be able to be corrected as kids get older so it's really important for all kids since birth from birth to get an exam a vision exam by someone who is trained to do that could be your pediatrician although a lot of experts are now saying that all kids should get a comprehensive eye exam by an eye specialist by the age of three most importantly if you notice that your child is squinting or sitting too close to the TV or holding books too close to their eyes or if they're rubbing their eyes frequently um, or an eye is wandering then you need to get, get a checked. good eye exam exactly all right other story we're working on today impossible to know how long anyone will live but researchers trying to unravel that mystery in a study they looked at more than 600,000 people and these researchers in Scotland identified factors that can affect survival primarily smoking weight and education big factors not a huge surprise here on those no so smoking a pack a day can reduce your lifespan span by seven years but if you quit smoking you can go back to the way it was um, if you were a non-smoker reversible exactly um, in terms of weight for every kilogram of extra weight that you carry around which is about two pounds you um, lose life expectancy by two months but if you lose that weight you can gain that time back and Interestingly, for every year spent studying after regular schooling, that can improve your lifespan by up to a year. So those of us that have continued to study, and I don't know if it has to be formal education or whether you can just be sort of a learner, um, that can actually help prolong your life. Taking a film class. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Thank you, doctor.